All right, let's get it. Soda Sopa, bitch. Actually, this is pretty nice. Morning, like Mandy. that that Whole Foods adds a really nice dynamic to South Park. The sun is shining, people are happy. Morning, Jay. Just another Morning, day Jay. in paradise, huh? Yeah, look at all these new restaurants the Whole Foods has brought in. Well, let's try out that one there. That's dope, though. That's good for Hi, tourists. Two of us, please. Yeah, sorry guys, we got about a thirty-minute wait. Oh, uh, excuse me. Yes, sir. Give me a second. I'll have a table right away. <laughs> oh wait, Whoa, I think I know what this is. Him? I just told him who I am. I told him you're a you a asshole. That's what you did. I know this episode, bro. Uh -huh. Who are you? I'm a Yelp reviewer. <laughs> uh, I usually keep it on the down low so they don't kiss my ass too much. Right over here, sir. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to Vernacular. Thanks. Uh, did they mention? He's scared for his job, you boy. That I am a Yelper. Yes, we've been alerted, sir. Great. Could you have them turn the lights up a little, please? He talking about he a yelper, bitch. You look like a kelper. Fish face ass. What? Oh, look at it, Gerald. All the new families moving in. Our little town is all grown up. Yeah. A far cry from what that season one thing? was. We need it now. I'm a little overwhelmed. I know. But we put everything into moving here and starting this business, and we have to be impressive. David, you must help your mama however you can. We're not going back to that miserable place. I don't want to go back either. Okay, What done. is it? Great. We really have to impress this customer. Are they talking about... Are they Are they talking about another country? Is that what it is? I don't want to say, but are they talking about another country? He's a local food critic. Another one? Oh, oh not his fat ass. Hmm. Okay, here you go, amigo. Another taco plate and the taquitos. Oh, thank you. And did I mention I am a food critic for Yelp? Yes, you mentioned that several <laughs> times. Okay, I just didn't want you caught off guard. I was thinking of giving this place five stars. Really? Nice. Yeah, but I'm kind of teetering on five stars or one star. Oh, no, no. No one star, please. What can we do I to... I mean, I could probably be persuaded with some free desserts. Let me get that for you. Great. Are you could serious? Could you turn down the music a bit? This pagan shit hurts my ears. Of course. Oh, God. Oh, hey. Hey, bus boy. Bus boy, bus boy. Part five R. Bro, don't you ever snap at somebody, bro. I, I swear that that gets me like, hey, 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 hey. Like, what are you talking about? Like, don't snap at me, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, don't uh, do not do that shit, bro. Don't do that shit. That's some asshole shit, man. You need to treat everybody with respect. Just because they doing a job, you got a job to do too, bro. Everybody got a job to do. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's a servant to society in some way, bro. Because if you're not, then you're either a psychopath, a murderer, <laughs> like a criminal, or your ass is just broke. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. But boy, my name is David. Excuse me? I said my name is David. Uh, it's actually pronounced David, okay? Well, I'm David. How you gonna tell it's him? David, dude, look it up. What's going on? Do not argue, son. We need him. There you are, a few free desserts. Oh, Bro, excuse me, more you're customers. You're fat. Hi, sir. two of us for lunch, please. Yes, right away. Oh, and uh, I just wanted to mention that my wife and I are Yelp reviewers, so uh. You Why did they pull their phones out like, bitch? I'm ready to go. Your best table, please. <laughs> oh, jeez, you guys too, huh? Okay, um, I'll get you set up right over here, okay? Mm -hmm. Set them up on the roof. Hmm, this place seems nice. I guess we'll see. Yeah, I guess we'll see, won't we? Well, Let's shut your bitch ass up. Critic. You! You! Right? Everybody's like that. But you, bro, you fat. Bro, look, I, that's, that's the shit that I'll be talking about, man. You just. I can't, I can't be around somebody like that. Did you get him? Did you get him? Did you get him, huh? Here you go. Whoa. Crispy risotto bites from Olive Garden. How do you do it, Eric? I'm a restaurant critic, Butters. I get whatever I want. Jeez. Oh, so the cafeteria. Back that way, and most of the classrooms are this way down. You, the what's the busboy doing here? David is new don't to our Don't do school. that, bro. Uh, don't cool. do that. Are you gonna clean the tables here too? How do you get to school? Do you ride your tiny bicicleta, huh? Uh, it's not. It's like it's not even funny too. It's like you just being an asshole. It's not even funny. Nobody cares. Nobody's laughing. He's just a fat ass. Shut up. He is a, not has a. There's two different things. Look, amigo, I'm sorry I only gave your parents restaurant One two stars, a... but it could have been worse. Woo. Why'd you only give them two stars? I'm sorry, but the food totally messed my stomach up. The morning after I ate it, I went to the bathroom and my poop is all solid. Like, no water at all. It's not That's supposed great. to be like this one solid piece that I had to push out my asshole. It was like being raped from the inside. Your parents' restaurant just wasn't up to my standards, David. Jeez. David. 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 
David. David, 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 David. I can update this to a one-star review in two seconds, dude. Girl, man, get your bitch ass on somewhere. I am a, I, I do like to look at Google reviews when I go to places. So I guess I'm part of the problem, not the solution. But honestly, I don't know, man. I, I don't let the Google reviews completely, like, sway my decision. It's only if I see, like, okay, like if you had four or ten reviews and they were all bad, if they were all for a long time, I guess I do let it influence my decision. You know what I'm saying? I guess in this world you would hope people would not base their opinions off of stupid shit. But the good thing about the Google reviews, if you're an asshole, right? If you're an asshole, you leave a comment. If you're an asshole, you leave a comment. So it's not that you just one star it, you leave a comment too. If I see a whole bunch of one stars, I know that probably from regular people that really just didn't like the service. Or if I see a whole bunch of five star, four stars, three stars, four, three to four stars, that's a good place. Because you can't please everybody. But then if I see like a one star and it was like a, like, oh, and the waitress was, her name was Sharon, and Sharon didn't, and oh, and the manager, I'm like, that's just some personal vendetta shit. They didn't like it. I'll read it, but you know what I'm saying? I really don't let those type of shits influence. I still got to taste some shit. But the one thing you never want to go through is a one star tattoo shop. You will not be happy, bitch. Don't even try it, bro. Oh, don't God, even I love being a restaurant critic. Don't try it, bruh. You don't f your life up. And yet, there is more. For in this crisp time when autumn begins to fade, the chef brines chicken and habanero and even adds habanero powder to the crust. <laughs> but the heat is restrained. You experience okay. the fruity, delicious <laughs> flavor of this without any spicy pain. This nigga doing Shakespeare's reviews with a pipe and a. Are you serious? Yeah, I'll rip that shit off. What the hell wrong with you? Bro, what? Come on, bro. A scarf indoors? You're a freak, bro. This is a fashion statement by him. I get what y'all be saying. Oh, you, you haven't been in a place that's so cold. You need a scarf. I, I, I'll give you that. You're probably right. You are, you are absolutely right. You wish you had one. You wish you had one. I'll touch you. I'm like, what? Look, get your freaky ass on. I get it. You like scarves. Y'all love scarves. That's fine. But I think you're a freak if you wear a scarf indoors and you don't need it. You're a freak. You get that? Like, this is your fashion statement. Do you see? That's how you put the scarf on. Mm. 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 And it swings around and set, touches your back, slightly tickling your butt from the back. That's what you like? I'm just saying. That's what it, that's how, that's how, <laughs> that's how people put on scarves. That's how people put on scarves, bro. You it tickle your little butt and top it on the back. You're a freak, bro. I don't need <laughs> any more pain. Hell, I'm talk, does talk anyone? Shit. I'm talking shit. Gerald, we're going to the park. You want to uh, come along? Gerald! Sorry, this review for Applebee's has turned into a 50-pager. Then I have a polish on Ruby Tuesdays. Why don't you take a break from yelping, Gerald? You seem a little overwhelmed. I <laughs> am overwhelmed. Sometimes you I don't weed. know what I've gotten myself into. But now everyone relies on my Yelp reviews, and I, I don't want to let anyone down. Bro, just Have chill out. The fridge if you get hungry. Thanks, but I, I gotta yelp a new place in C Teapot Town tonight. God, I'm so damn tired. Okay, Bro, shut fun. up. Ha, fun, she says. In finality, <laughs> I would say my experience at Applebee's. They just don't even get paid for none of this shit, bro. Just be talking shit, bro. Sublime, and my treatment near that of a gladiator most decorated. But the street parking wasn't that great. Two and a half stars. Get the. Yes. <laughs> I hate this dude. You an asshole, bro. Weren't you eating lunch, Eric? I'm a food critic, Butters, okay? I can't just eat cafeteria food. Okay, here you are, sir. There's a oh, boy's no. meal chicken, some shitty beef, and a shitty egg roll. <laughs> are you joking? Hey, don't get mad, Kyle. Don't get no, mad. You are a little late. Like, I don't know, maybe only one star late? Oh, no. No one star, please. You yelpers are clearing me. Okay, you no pay. You no pay, please. Sounds good. Now get the f out of here. Yes, yes. I get Damn. The out. Thank you. He said, yes, I get the f Be important, Eric. <laughs> He's not important at all. Yeah, no, no, you're right, Cal. I'm not important. Oh, hey, David. What does he I'm eat? I'm just wondering, um, how do you get to school? 
Do you ride your tiny bicicleta? Bro just catching strays for no reason, bro. Maz was just sitting there eating his food, not worried about life, bro. I mean, not worried about that. Just chilling, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you focus. When you get some good food or decent food, you just be, mm -hmm, focus on the food. He told me some, hey, hey, bitch. Like, that's basically what he said. He might as well, bro, yeah. right? Stop it. What? I just want to hear him say, see si, me ride me tiny bicicleta to ski. To ski. See si, me ride me teeny bicicleta to school. <laughs> that's awesome. Damn. I'm going to go out to recess. Will you bust this for me, David? Thanks. Oh, don't, <laughs> do, do, don't. <laughs> Nah, for real. Just leave it there, bro. That man had that dude come all the way down there. He took a few bites and he shook. That's some asshole shit. Sir, it's midnight. Go home. That's some Get some asshole sleep. Shit. There's no time to sleep when the city's counting on me. More Yelp reviews, sir? I had a bad experience at Red Lobster, and if the people don't know about it, they could too. Here we go. Folks Here deserve we go. to know where to eat, Mitch. But does anyone even thank you for it? I don't know. Bro, you you need to get a light, bitch. I know they need me, and that's enough. God bless you, sir. I know. No, he does not, bro. <laughs> he does not. I mean, I guess so. You're alive, right? Welcome to Whistling Willies. Y'all enjoying your pizza? Look. That's Freddy Fazbear right there, bitch. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, ever since Five Nights at Freddy's, I don't want to go to no place. I don't want to ever, ever in my life see an animatronic. Ever. I don't want to go to no place with whistling willy, fat mouth ass and shit, big ass cheeks. You got kids in them Here, cheeks. my good man, we've been waiting over 15 minutes for you to sing happy birthday to our son. Unfortunately for you, we are both restaurant critics and so is our son. One star. Excuse me, oh, emergency. Up. Over here, emergency. I would like a table inside the area with all the little plastic balls, please, and make it snappy. I am a food critic for Yelp. That Bro, does you're it. a freak. I've had enough. All you Yelp reviewers, get the hell out of here! No, 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 let me help you out. All you Yelp reviewers, get the f*** out! That's what you do. That's what you do. You take the stink finger and you... Get the f*** out! Not flicking nobody off, but you show them the door. Because they a whore. I don't care what happens to my Look business. I ain't kissing your asses no more! Stand up for your shit. What they, what they gonna do? Every yep. Get the f*** out of here! That's what I'm talking about! Though, you don't want a one-star review. You're not a food critic, Dennis! You're a mechanic! Now get the f*** out! Go <laughs> on! All you yelping sons of bitches, get the f*** out of here! Get your bitch ass out of there. Oh, Wendy's in there? Look at her, look at her peoples. You're gonna regret this whistling, Willie. Really. You can't treat yelpers this way. Kick him! He kicked him! He kicked him! Well... Good for you. You too, you son of a bitch. Whoa, well, hey. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> he kicked him too. It's That's over. what's up. Over. Way to stand up for yourself. You see paper? It's over. Oh, shit. What, what happened? The Mongolian stopped fighting your ass? Whistling, baby. He's... If I keep playing, it never, I, it's like I never said it. Stand up to the Yelpers. We don't have to kiss at the asses anymore. Look, everybody doing the same. <laughs> it's Oba, it's Oba. Hey, Skinner, you hear the news? One, two, eight. You're not Chinese. <laughs> it's a miracle. Damn, bro. They were stressing them out. Uh, did somebody... Whoa, wait, wait. <laughs> news, one, two, eight. It's a miracle. What is it? It's a miracle. <laughs> uh, did somebody spilled <laughs> shit on the floor. Hey, what David, somebody fuck? spilled something here. Could you clean this up, por favor? That's David, crazy. Over here, there's some shit on the floor. Hey, 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 what's going on, man? You haven't heard? Hmm. Nobody gives a Yelp reviewers think anymore. I want David to whoop his ass one good time. One good time. What are you talking about? I'm the most influential critic in this town. Okay, David, forget the spill. Just give me one little, my name is David, me ride me bicicleta to ski. No. My name is David. That's what I'm talking ah! about. The cow, shut up. You don't okay, care Okay, I'm, I'm updating my review. I'm about to do it. You better say I ride me BC Clinton to ski. One star. You something wrong with you, bro. No, no stars. That's that old iPhone where they had that little shelf at the bottom and shit. It ain't no shelf no more, boy. They had that little shelf at the bottom. There go your apps. Oh, <laughs> Man, uh, stupid. You that's, can't just that's treat cool. me like I'm nothing. 
I still know I'm worth something. Yeah, you're a fat Come piece on, of guys. shit. Come on, what? Oh yeah, you, you guys stay. It's good. That's good. You, you guys stay. Right. Where were they going? And uh, look, see, here's the problem with that, bro. This is the problem with that. Look at his fat forehead ass in the back. Look at him. Look at him in the purple right there, bitch. I forget his name. Is I think it's Nelson right there. Big Omi ball head, crystal ball head ass boy. He could probably see the future. He probably see me reacting in the shit. Fat head ass boy. That's Magneto right Come there, on, boy. Now you said, what is he doing at Butter's house? <laughs> oh, hey, Eric. It's all over, Butters. Everything I've worked so hard to achieve. All these hack wannabe food critics have made my profession a joke. Oh, I'm sorry, It is a Eric. joke. All these people trying to be like me, and they don't even write about poop consistency the next day. Well, Eric, you should be proud that people want to be like you. Uh, I mean That's disgusting, bro. This man is nasty as hell, and bro. You really started something. He knows it. I guess. Well, if these people look up to you, maybe, maybe you can sort of set the record straight and show them the way it's supposed to be done. Butters is a You're great right, friend. Maybe I can actually use all these people somehow to make real food critics respect it again. No, I. I'm actually liking where South Park Let's is going. You. That's it, Maggie. I'm hanging it up. If people are going to be trying all the new restaurants in town, they'll have to do it without my reviews. He always looked malnourished, bro. Like tight bone ass nigga. What are you talking about? You said that protecting people from bad dining experiences was what kept you going. The restaurants put up signs saying I can't come in. Good. I don't know why they singled me out, but it's like people don't need me. Because you single out black people, boy. Damn, carrot face ass. Well, I'll be damned. What, what is, is it? this? Somebody's put a note in the mailbox asking me to come and talk to them. They do need me. No, they don't. I need Bro, to get going. To be a... You want me to come along? <laughs> no, mind. they're just asking for me. I guess maybe I do have a town to protect. You're supposed to protect the people, bitch. <laughs> What's wrong oh, with you? Oh, are you having a party, sweetheart? You Not kill party, black Mom. people in I've the basement. I've invited all the poser food critics over for a meeting. Oh, how fun. It's not fun, it's serious. These people think they can do what I do, but they need to be made to understand the reality. When the Yelpers get here, I need you to get lost, okay? okay that's get it, lost? Get lost, Mom! It's, that's crazy. In her own oh, house. I'm here with a meeting. Is this the right place? Shut your ass up. Man! I'm going, honey. Mom, there's like a billion people here. Oh, yes, sweetie. I think quite a few people are Yelp reviewers. Oh, this many people serious? have nothing better to do than write reviews on Yelp? I guess so, honey. How many letters did you send out, stupid? Do you need more lemonade? Mom, there's a billion people here! Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming. My name mm. is Eric, and as you know, us Yelpers are being scrutinized. Could you speak a little louder? No, shit. Y'all need to go home, bitch, bro. Why yes, would you gather here? Yes, critics are being scrutinized. That's right! Yeah! Now, you see, yeah. the problem is that when there's too many reviewers, People no longer know who is the real food critic. It's great that you all want to be critics, <laughs> but we all know who the real food analyst Stupid. of the town is. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. Oh, 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 thanks. Okay. So, <laughs> as long as there is one clear leader. This is, hold up. This is just like Instagram models, bro. This is like, bro, you take a few pictures and get a photo shoot done by a nigga that barely know how to use his camera, and everybody think they an Instagram model. This is some little, I'm literally talking about, this is some real shit, bro. It's taken away for some real women that's trying to be models. This shit, bitch, just because you post a picture of your ass to the side don't mean you an Instagram model. Taking pictures by that same pool, on that same roof, in that same green screen that everybody, okay, I understand. Do your shit. But if you're going to do your shit, do it for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be a part-time anything. Do your shit for real. And the rest of you that goes for everybody. Follow. And with this many people all following one... But them asses on Instagram? Shit, I might go look up one now. I know as soon as I click... Look, 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 y'all. As soon as I click on my Explore page, I'm going to see an ass. I'm going to see a nice ass. Where is that Instagram at? Because I actually been wanting to see it. Okay, now this is just for research. This is for research. This is for research. I'm clicking on my Instagram now. I'm clicking on my Explore page. And what do you know? And what do you know? 
And what do you know? That ass is fat, bro. My, my shit. Like. <laughs> Captain, we can fight to get our power back. Power back. So now what? rise up and fight for your leader. Power fight back. together and show the restaurants that our food critic does matter. Yeah. Yeah. All right, follow me. This way, everyone. Who are they following? Oh no! Oh, they're wrecking the place. Oh, that's that's horrible, bro. That's hard. He put his time, his life, his energy, his money. All he wanted to do is just get customers and be respected, bro. And that looks like a nice place. Another local business is closing its doors tonight after being taken down by Yelp reviewers. Whistlin' Willie's, a child favorite in town, was destroyed and its owner stripped and beheaded. The following video is graphic. What? No, 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 I swear, South Park gets me every time. <laughs> no, you're not. Never mind. Yeah, he's back. He's back in business. <laughs> oh, shut up, Carmen. Shut up, bro, please. Bad. We all loved Whistling Willies. Facts. I like it. didn't it. do well with Yelpers. <laughs> you assholes destroyed the best place in town because they wouldn't kiss your asses. Oh, come on, admit it. The food <laughs> sucked. Nobody went food. Look, right. I'm sorry, guys, but Whistling Willie failed to recognize the influence someone like me has on their business. Now, I just have one question for you, David. Oh, no. Do you ride your teeny tiny... Bicicleta to school. See, si, me riding no. any bicicleta to school. Uh, David, David doing it for his family, You're bro. You're done. Yeah, I'm oh, done. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That, hey, hey, you don't never want a nigga to say that to you. You're done. <laughs> I'm now the leader of thousands of people. They all hang on my every word. And I'm going to use my power to finally get what this town really needs. Barbara Streisand again? I found the wait staff at Red Lobster to be rude and barely even acknowledging who I was or what I meant to this city. Gerald, I'm taking Ike to clown school. You care to join us? Hi. Bro, no, no, no. You don't need to take him to clown school. You got a fully loaded, dressed up clown right in this damn room, bro. It's his father. Can't, honey. I'm now the leader of thousands of people. They all hang on my every word. And I'm going to use my power. Finally get what this town really needs. Look how long your ears are, nigga. Ears as long as half of this man's head, bro. Job in a hut. No, no, let me just leave it. Nigga, why is with the, why is everybody got these long ass ears? They messing up South Park. For the South fifth Park. day in a row, historic Shitipa town is under siege by Yelp reviewers. The restaurants are still refusing to be intimidated, and the Yelp reviewers are. They're messing it up. And the Yelp reviewers are preparing for all-out war. The angry Yelp review. <laughs> oh shit! It's Al Qaeda. Shit, bro. Are demanding special treatment at all city restaurants. They claim that as local food critics, they deserve respect, and that all who oppose them will suffer. Bro, they training his ass. Any nigga that shoot like this, shit, bro. You ass. Just stop. You're not hitting shit. Bro. The online restaurant critics are getting ready to bring businesses to their knees, and some are already closing their doors. One local restaurant worker actually called out the Yelp critics' leader. I guess you win, huh, Big Shot? If you really are any kind of important to anybody, then get your bullshit food critic ass to the south of town and face me. Oh, and shit. And you aren't important. And unless you're a chicken, I'll see you south of town. No, not him. Going, no. Sir? You heard him. Little Mexican kid called me out. He wants to fight me? That's fine. Whoa, bro, I tell you, there's something wrong with him. There's something wrong with him. He's a freak, bro. There's something wrong with that man, bro. Just this, this man, you need to be put under the jail, sir. Need backup, sir? No, he's just calling me out. God bless you, sir. I know. No, no, you ain't getting blessed. You're going to have to fight an army. Dude, wait. Dude, you don't want to do this. You 
don't know what Carmen's capable of. Where I come from, we settle things with our fists. But this is Mexico. Right. I'm not from Mexico, dude. I'm from Idaho. I'm gonna. Man, shut your ass up. You from Mexico, man? Shut up. You stop. Okay, no, that was racist. That was. That was. Man, oh, oh, it's a, it's a goddamn. I got him, bro. Yeah, mosquito in here been tearing my ass up. I wish I could show y'all. I probably nah. He probably went away. This on this one. Man, he been tearing my ass up, bitch. Bitch, knock this ass out. Show this prick how we do things in Boise. Oh, hello, David. In Boise. Stop. All right, you've got your army. You've got your followers. If you're such a great leader, then just tell the city what you want, fat ass. Don't what? call me fat, son. I'm what? doing this because me what too, I okay? What I want is to be able to lead What I want! <laughs> Shut lead your these up. fine people with the respect I and the dignity. I didn't ask to be the leader. I was appointed. You see, I'm extremely important to this town, and I'm... I already know how to get, how to get them, like, destroyed. You pit them against each other. Like, all you have to do is say, well, who's the real leader? Why don't you fight for not me? Going to be yes, the <laughs> you made these people feel unwanted. And now they look to me for answers. Now here I stand, vulnerable, afraid, and yet willing Shut to do up. what the people have And so we said to hell with it. And we took the challenge <laughs> to go. Look, she's just smiling like. Stan is the man. Shut your stupid ass up. Can't nobody hear you. <laughs> From the towns of what do we want? And people would say, oh, you're just a food slugger. That's a Karen. Anybody with that haircut, is that's a Karen. Pull them big ass titties out, man. You want your special privileges, but these people think I should have them. Right, guys? Maybe I don't deserve special treatment, but how else can I be the elite food critic they want? <laughs> where, do you go, where do you go from here? Every person here thinks this is about them. I think I know what to do. Exactly, bro. That's the biggest thing. Everybody just everybody thinks everything is about them, bro. They always like to talk and rant and ramble and tell you all their opinions. It doesn't matter about your opinions. You get that? You just want to talk and rant and ramble and it's it's thousands of people waiting for something. And you want to talk and rant and ramble and just say all your little opinions and just be a little bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like I hate people like that. You know? That big awkward silence. Can I stay with you? <laughs> Look at the ass boy. Hit you with that donkey and shit. Can I stay with you, please? Yeah, Still glass. <laughs> yeah, boy, I know I'll be talking shit, bro. Y'all don't really want to hear it. Service time. to this community, we want to once and for all declare you our most elite food critic. To distinguish you, we present to you the golden badge wearing this badge means you will always get the special treatment that you deserve <laughs> thank you mayor it's a big responsibility but i suppose i have to accept all right get your ass out to of serve this town we know you will okay bring in the next one <laughs> Mr. Look at that. That's stupid. Mr. Davis, you have proven yourself a leader. And for all your service to this community, I we want to once and day. for all declare you our most elite food critic. I could not to do that. To distinguish you, day. we present the golden badge. Wow. Wearing this badge means <laughs> you will always get the special treatment you deserve. <laughs> yeah. I would have been tired as hell. That damn priest, I know he tired. All right, we got all the restaurants to agree to let the Yelpers in and make them feel special. How did you do it, son? Hi, yes, the steak, please. I'm the uh, Yelp elite. All right, hmm. we got a Yelper. Give it that special attention. Right, bro, that's the thing, bro. If you just, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's the biggest thing. You just, just, just let them be, just let them do what they do. As long as people just know to not, to not go up go about that shit like base their whole opinion off yelp and shit like that then you'll be fine bro you got it 
Oh, so you nasty bitch! Yelpers, special oh, he's, blessed. oh, he's jacking it in there! You demand a restaurant's very best. Well, they're gonna treat you special. Oh, shit, how do you even have any left, bro? Shit. Well, I get one, one yelper for the night, and I gotta lay down, bro. But it's a, that's a good bust. Chul, I'm <laughs> telling you, chum. Oh, that's disgusting. Now get this yourself ready for some boogers and cum. Oh no! Uh, that's called the Yelper Special. Oh no! What is this? Say what's that on your pretzel? Your online critiques are real useful to some. Now have a good time eating boogers, boogers and, cum. and cum. What? Someone farted on your salad. Oh, you stinky bitch! He nasty. This is disgusting, bro. Uh, this but your is, decor critiques are valid. You think you're special, like you're a number one. Well, there's a whole lot of special in boogers, boogers and cum. And cum. Uh, How oh, about some oh, with he was dropping a log on his shit. Your flounder. You like that creepy quarter pounder? What's that spice that feels tangy on my tongue? Oh, that's a yuzu <laughs> pepper along with some boogers and cum. <laughs> he said it walking away. <laughs> oh my god. That is disgusting. That is enough to not make you want to eat nowhere, bro. I swear my Here life, are, bro. Thank you, David. That's good service. I will bring you food every day, my friend. Mm, is that a jalapeno cream sauce? Yes, my father made it just for you. Mmm, it's tart but savory. Oh, being a food critic's easy. No, stop. Oh, you feeling a little queasy? Do you need a diagnosis? Well, the doctor's got one. Your stomach seems to be filled with boogers and cum. Boogers and cum. Piss in your potatoes. Boogers and cum. Some guy. This is pee pee. Pissy potato. Shit on your tomatoes. All right, fancy food critic. Looks like you've won. <laughs> now please enjoy all the boogers. <laughs> and Shut up. And come. David. David. God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the the craziest thing, bro. South Park, that's why I love it. Bro, South Park comes up with the craziest shit. Like, what are you talking about? Boogers and come. Like, what is that? Who to? Like, just being in the studio singing some shit like that, bro. Like, that is disgusting. Like, I, I really was really. Um, if you haven't seen, I have a, I have a reaction to South Park's um, process. You could say process um, over on the page. What was it called, bro? Ten days, I think. Ten days to South. Ten days to air. Something like that. I think it was seven days to air, whatever. <clears throat> it's something like that. I'm, I'm sure if you search whatever like that and put South Park at the end and put Quizzy, I mean, YouTube is a big-ass search box, so it's like, it'll probably find it. But even if you don't watch mine, it's good to watch that, period, because then you know the, the process for them making these episodes is very interesting. It's, it's really, really interesting. In fact, it's filled with boogers and cum. But at the end of the day, it's like they sit in the room, they come up with ideas, they brainstorm, they laugh about it, they make the episode. And then sometimes it's so crazy and messed up that I love I love seeing the women's reaction in there. They're like, this is disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Like they couldn't help it. Just like these guys are fucking weirdos. But the guys that did the Madden trade, they, oh my God, you know what I'm saying? They loved it. So I just wanted to see, I would have loved to see the room, like, of when they drop Boogers and Come. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just like, oh, and there'll be a song at the end, Boogers and Come. But y'all, man, that's the video for the day, man. Do your boy a favor. Hit the like button. Go down below. Subscribe to your boy, man. If you haven't, man, go over to the Patreon. Check out the Patreon, bro. I promise you, bro. I promise you. There is no Boogers and Come. Maybe a little cum, but there's no boogers. That is disgusting. Absolutely.